okay, it's on some bullshit. This this is the second time this has happened this week. So I was started pulling cards and my camera cut off. So, um, but you guys had the success come out. You had beauty come out and expansion and then retreat. So what I was saying before this camera cut off, you guys could be getting, and this was for October. I said, what's coming towards Sagittarius or whoever's watching for the month of October. Okay. So you guys could be getting success, feeling get better, looking better. Um, there's expansion here and then we have retreat. So you guys may just be like focusing more on, you know, your beauty, health regiments, um, work, career, because it's like you're in this, this hermit mode. And I did mention that this lantern reminds me of a Virgo, by the way. So strength. Yeah, it's like you guys are overcoming something here, having the strength to overcome something. Magic, yeah. Sanctuary. See, some of you guys are like retreating. You're going into like the sanctuary type mode where you're focusing on yourself. What is this? Um, let me get this dang book out. What is this magic? Number 25. It says the lingering howl of a wolf weaves its way through the night air. The brightness of the full moon Bays the entire forest with a silvery light. Fairies and elves and spirits. Joyous and celebration. Magic is all around you. The veil between the worlds is thin right now. Fairies, elves, angels, and spirit beings are just a thought away. It is indeed a magical universe, and the key to opening the doors to those realms is to trust. All may not be as it seems. By the protective light of the moon, the magic of the universe surrounds you. Even though it is dark, the light of the moon shows you the way. Reminding you to trust what you feel. You are safe, even if you can't see it. Have faith that you are being supported in mysterious and wondrous ways by unseen beings in accordance with your highest good. It says, believe in magic. You are being given powerful mystic messages from spirit. Take time to listen. Allow the receptive energy of the moon to activate your creativity. You receive mystical messages and you are a spiritual messenger for others. So you guys are safe, even if you can't see it. There's beings around you. And then it's funny because this talks about there's magical beings around you. And then look what comes next. There is literally magical looking beings in here. A bear, a rabbit with some damn clothes on and shit, and a fox. <laughs> so you have... Um, and, and then this card says, the card appears as a reminder to replenish your inner resources. It is time to renew your energy and make tending to your own needs a priority. Practice extreme self-care. Protect yourself from less than positive influences in your life. The message here is to take shelter. Retreat into your home. Wow. Or spend time in places and with people where you feel at home. Mend physical objects, organize your possessions, and heal relationships. This is the possibility of a huge spurt of energy in the future, but unless you take this time to create foundations and nourish yourself, you may be overwhelmed by all it is. Miss the opportunities available to you later. This card can also mean that blooming and expansion are at hand. Flowering success awaits you. Healing energy is growing and beautiful things are to come. Draw nourishment from the wellspring inside you. Be a sanctuary for others. Go within and listen to the voice of your soul. Access your divine guidance. If you've been struggling or pushing, taking time off, retreat, rest, and relax. Take a vacation or embark on a retreat. So, that's crazy. It talks about retreating twice. <laughs> Something could be depleting your strength you, if you have been feeling the need to take better care of yourself or spend more time taking care of yourself. This is a sign. And then it says expansion. This card here also just talked about success, like things blooming. So this could definitely be like a, a sign that you guys need to retreat and take care of yourself. Put, make yourself like a priority. 
Yeah, all wisdom and generosity. This came out before, last week, I believe. It came out again. So, you're being guided. Yep, look. Some type of guide around you, guiding you, helping you. Let me pull some of these. What other messages do you have for them for October? Exchanging gifts. So somebody could be exchanging energy gifts with you. Time to nap. Yeah. They are really on you about taking time off. Like if you work too much, they could be telling you it's time to take a nap, time to rest, relax. Building blocks. Yeah, so that way you can help. You know, if you are over giving or over extending, you, there's a need to stop that because you're going to build whatever it is you want, but you may need, may need to take a break. Message in a bottle and no place like home. Yeah, so it's something about like spending time at home. Like, you know, people call, you're like, no, I'm at the house. I need time off. I don't know. There's something about being at home. Like, telling people that. Yeah, to be fair, you need to balance yourself out. There's something that needs to be put into balance right now. Or in the month of October. Yeah, you got good coming. They want you to focus on the here and now. And then serendipity. So something unexpected is going to happen here in the present moment soon observer somebody's also watching you observing you yeah they want you to take a leap of faith by the book is in the reverse so some of y'all when it comes to work whatever y'all are doing make sure you do everything by the book because you could be being watched Yeah, I see you being happy. Yeah, and then we have imagine higher power and around and around. So there could be something that's like repeating itself in the month of October. Like somebody could be coming back around or a situation could be coming back around. But it's divinely guided by source here. Yeah, it's all it's in divine timing. So in divine timing, something's gonna come back around. Yeah, a leg up. Somebody's coming in to help you too. So there could be somebody who's gonna come in and help you. Like right in the right oh that card fell. It was go the distance to see if I can reach it. Um No, it went too far. But it was um go the distance. So, somebody is coming in to help you just in the nick of time. Yeah. This could be like friends, family, a community. So, if you need help with something in October, yeah, they're going to be flexible with you, whoever this person is. Yeah, Empress Energy. Could be a female. Could be like a mother or a friend. Yeah, chaos and conflict. There may be some type of chaos and conflict, um, but somebody is going to come in and help you get through it. Yeah, they're going to come through and help you get through something. Unfinished symphony. Yeah, you're moving to a different timeline. Somebody's coming in to help. Let's ask what that's about. Like, what is this leg up? Like, what are you trying to tell? Sagittarius for the month of October. You know, that one card did say something you are needing to protect yourself from less than positive energies and to retreat in your home. So, if you do have people that are toxic and they just show up at your house or whatever... It's kind of like they're almost advising you not to interact with that person. So there could be like a particular person who likes to cause chaos and conflict. 
that is coming your way. They're kind of warning you about it. Look, the first one out, the Empress. Somebody is coming back to you. If somebody doesn't want you to walk away. Now, somebody's worried, having stress, nightmares, anxiety. This could even be you. Like, even this could even be you guys worried about something. But somebody like messages you here. Or somebody could be coming back your way who's having like stress, anxiety, and worry. They want to offer you like an apology here. Yeah, this is somebody from your past. Yeah, something is about something about healing. You guys might be worried about like a health issue or some type of healing that needs to be, you know, done. And it's like, I feel like somebody's coming in to help you. It could even be a mother or a child or something. There's something you're worried about. Yeah, things are going to go in your favor. Whatever you're worried about. If some of you guys are worried about a health issue or getting help with a health issue, it's like you may have to go somewhere to get help for this. It's weird what I'm picking up on. Now, if this is like a past person, you also have like a past person here coming in who regrets something that happened between the two of you and wants to apologize. There could be somebody who's drinking here too. You may feel stuck. Yeah, somebody is stuck on you and they're watching you. This person feels left out in the cold. This could be like a friend or somebody you were in a relationship with. You're going to have to make a decision on this. Yeah, they want you to listen to your intuition about some choice you're going to have to make in October. It's like, yeah, mm -hmm, here it is. You have somebody around you. This is a warning read. Yeah, this is somebody who's going to come in really quickly. You have somebody from your past who's drinking. I feel like they're drinking. They could be having financial issues. Um, they're stalking you, watching you. And that's why I think they're telling you to retreat and hide in her house. Like, if somebody shows up at your house and your intuitions tell, I don't care if they're a friend, a family member, and you know, but you know that they are a heavy drinker or something, there's a warning here to not answer that door. Because there's somebody around here who you may not see that this person doesn't have good intentions with you. They're trying to figure out how to steal from you and to get away with it. This is somebody who lies a lot. Yeah, they're trying to figure out how to steal from your house, how to rob your house. I'm not I'm not bullshitting. Yeah, it's, they're trying to figure out how to cause you a tower. Yeah, so be careful. They're watching your home. This isn't for everybody, but it's for somebody. Yep, finances. They're trying to figure out how to steal money from your home, which is stupid. Like, most people don't keep money in their fucking home. Like, what? I mean, I guess they could steal other things, but somebody's thinking about how to steal something from you. And this is somebody you think is a friend. Because we have the two of cups. Yeah, they're going to try to come in and say, hey, do you want to hang out? But they've been watching you, eyeballing you. 
keeping a really close eye on you. It could be like an Aries or a goat in Chinese astrology. Yeah, this person's really in their emotions. Yeah, and they, they, what's funny is whoever this is, they know you're guarded. Or you need to choose to guard yourself from this person. Protect yourself from this person. Yep, they want you to put up boundaries towards this person. Being the queen of swords, no nonsense, bitch, I'm not playing with you today. Because they're coming towards you to take a leap of faith towards you. And uh, you're going to have to have your sword ready. Mm. Yeah, because this person plans on betraying you. They also could have ended something, a relationship or something, and now they're headed your way. Yeah, there's somebody here, they did. So they're this King of Cups. The Queen of Swords could be whoever they left. They left somebody, and now they want to come bullshit you, gaslight your ass. So be careful, because I feel like this person is in their emotions. Yeah, lovers reverse. So they got in some type of argument with a lover. So this could be like a sibling, a friend. Yeah, so they got into it. They're in the King and Queen of Swords energy. Oh, and now this person's looking for a new victim. <laughs> I say that because I feel like they just left somebody they were arguing with and betrayed. And then um, now they're all emotional and they're looking for a new love. Looking for a new victim. Oh, instead of new love. Because <laughs> it's like they're on some bullshit. They're lying. Yeah, they're telling you. So this person's going to try to come. Now, if this is like a past love or something, they want to reconcile, but... This person sees you as their happiness, or they see that you're happy. They see you're rejecting them and holding back. This person's very aware of you holding back your energy from them. It's the damn King of Pentacles reversed. So this person's probably most likely, I mean, they could be any sign, but they could be an earth sign, but they're not in their, they're not, the reason he's coming out reversed is because they're not in their right element. They're in the king they're in the king of cups very emotional they're in the king of swords very um jaded because they just left a situation and they feel like you're happy they feel like you're rejecting them and they feel like you're holding back from them so that this is upsetting them yeah like you could be telling this person you have work to do hmm yeah, this person's going to try to come in and offer you love. Oh, they're pissed off too about somebody else offering you love. Yeah, so it's kind of like they left the situation. This this keeps coming out. It's just some bullshit, but now there's a new element of like theft. <laughs> like, like this person could get to drinking, okay? Like, they could be a jackal and hide, too. Like, one minute they're real loving, the next minute they're wanting to kill you. Like, I probably shouldn't say it on YouTube, but it's like there's this element of a jackal and hide with this person because they drink. This is somebody who's an alcoholic. They, there's also whoever they kick to the curb is also pissed off at this person and could possibly be pissed off at you. It's like two people want to bring drama to your house or something and you're like, fuck that and you need to retreat. Yeah, they see you as single, independent. This is somebody who knows you're very loving, very kind, so they could try to come in and play off of your emotions. Yeah, they see that you got a shit ton of options, too. Hmm. 
there's something about like you having a breakthrough, you getting a ten of go from the nine of pentacles to the ten of pentacles. Um, but they feel like it's unfair. So somebody is also like jealous of you. They feel like it's unfair that you're like getting this success or getting what you want. Could be the damn Virgo. Yeah, this person's not getting wish fulfillment and they don't think it's fair that you are. Their emotions are all over the place. This person's also not having, like, any passionate new beginnings or anything. Like, I feel like you don't like this person. Or maybe not so much you don't like him, but there's no attraction there. Like, you don't view this person as wish fulfillment or attracted to them at all. Yeah, and you're thinking about just completely ending this friendship or this, like, whatever the hell this is with this, like, Virgo Earth energy because they're on some bullshit. So you may end things with them because this is a very selfish person. Like, all they care about is their self. Yeah, this person may have, like, a tower moment when you quit giving to them. So this is like a some type of earth energy I'm picking up on. And you're choosing to hold back because you're sick of their selfish bullshit. You choose not to give to them. And this is going to cause them a tower. And I think this is what's going to really piss them off. Yeah, and then they feel hopeless. So like maybe you were their last hope. They don't want you to move on. They don't want you to leave. They want to keep you stuck in this round and around bullshit like we've seen with the Oracle. Yeah, we have the Five of Swords twice. This person's like very jealous too. Like very jealous. They, they could try to come in and pretend like they found God or something, but they're lying about that too. Because look, the Six of Swords is reversed. They don't want you to move on. Um, five of swords right next to it. So they're in this five of swords, jealous, one up, win at all costs. They're going to try to come in like they're godly or that they're wanting like a commitment or that they're being honest with you. Even if it's like a friend or a family member, like, oh, I'm honest. Like, you know, God this, God that. But this is who's really attached to him, the devil. So this is like a nasty energy. You may end things with this person in the month of October. Like you may tell this friend of yours or whoever the hell this King of Pentacles is. I feel like they, it could even be like a friend or a sibling, but it's like they ended something with somebody and they want to bring the drama to your house. And that's why the Spirit's like, no, focus on yourself, your own goals, your own healing. Um, because this person's on some bullshit. So what other, what else do you want to tell us? What is this person planning on stealing? What is it? Why are they in this seven of swords, five of swords? What are they planning on stealing? Like, what are they, why are they doing this? Because you're not giving to them. So, like, say if they come in and ask for help from you and you tell them, no, I'm not helping you, that's when they're going to, they could possibly just try to take it. Yeah, because they're looking at your finances. There's something here about them looking at what you've grown, like what you've invested in. Yeah, this could be family. This could be, like I said, this could be a friend or a family member.
Yeah, this person's not getting wish fulfillment. They know you're very guarded here. It's, it's like a, you needing to rest, rejuvenate, and guard yourself. This person doesn't want you moving on. They don't want you to have what it is you want. Again, like you need to hold back. The strength came out in this and in the oracle cards. Yeah, you're going to have to put an ending to something. If you already ended this friendship or this relationship or whatever it is with like family, friend, sibling, could even be a lover, I don't know, but they're not happy. Like this is really going to piss this person off. Yeah, they feel like you're getting wish fulfillment. Now, this is somebody who feels like you have the ability to be very, like, successful for the work that you do in the future. And so they feel like you're going to leave them behind because of this. Yeah, so this is somebody who's also was trying to use you for some type of financial gain. Yeah, and you thought it was a friend. You thought this was somebody you could trust. You thought this was like a friend, a family member, a sibling, a love, or something, but it's not. It's it's This is a two-faced friend. It was just around for what they could get off of you. And I think once you stop giving to this situation, you're going to see their real true colors. Yeah, they also feel like you're moving on and getting new love, and that's also pissing them off. Yeah, because they feel like they're being left out. So, say if you do have a friend or a family member or an ex, and they see that you're spending time with somebody new, um, they feel left out. So, they're lashing out because of this. Yeah, they feel like you're holding back and um, no longer giving to them. So, they wanted to hold on to you. They're very selfish. This is a selfish individual out for their own self-interest and they want to hold on to you it's definitely a past person yeah you're not interested you don't want nothing to do with this individual and they're pissed so, this is somebody who's pissed because you're not giving in to their shenanigans anymore. Yeah. They have a lot of anxiety, fear, worry. They're worried about you being with somebody else moving on with somebody else. Like, they could see somebody else at your house or they just there's a king of wands that's around you. Uh, so they feel like you're talking to a king of wands, but not talking to them. Like you could have walked away from them and be spending more time with a fire energy or something like that. So they want to come in and like block that or they feel blocked. Now there's something here about trying to come in and like love bomb you or gaslight you for some type of finances. Hoping things go in their favor. Yeah, this is the devil. This is somebody who's very toxic. They could have addiction. They could like to go in and out of your life. Yeah, and they're highly manipulative. So this is like a manipulator. Yeah, they're really jealous too. They're jealous of your stability. They want to come in and fuck your shit up. Like they want to get you off balance. The Queen of Pentacles reversed. The Temperance reversed. 
Yeah, and they're very emotional. This person's very emotional right now, drinking a lot. They're coming towards you. They're trying to figure out, like, look at all the water. Water here, water here, water there. This is a very emotional individual headed your way. They could also be drunk driving. Uh, yeah, it's like this person is spending their time out drinking, celebrating. Like, look at all the water energy. They're choosing to come to where you're at. Yeah, they're going to try to use your emotions against you with the Queen of Cups. Page of Swords, they're watching you. They're like, what are you doing? Yeah, and they feel, they want to return, but they feel betrayed because they feel like you have options. Maybe you have more options than them when it comes to career, finance, love. I don't know, because for everybody it's not love, but there's somebody who wants to just come in and start some shit. Because shit ain't going good for them. Yeah, it's this damn king of pentacles. <laughs> yeah, look, they're gonna they're coming up as a page. They're gonna they're not they're in the five of pentacles twice. They could be having problems with family too, having to move because they've been drinking. Yeah, they're headed your way. This person's trying to come make you an offer. They could be having to move. They could be losing a home. I don't know. All kinds of weird shit this person's got going on. So, just be prepared. This person's doing a lot of overthinking and they, they're making a decision to come in and speak some type of truth to you. Uh, but what they're hiding is that they are planning to steal from you or lie to you or do something that's not fair. And it's going to break your heart. Yep, it's going to break your heart. I think this person's doing this because they're broken hearted too. So it's like they're lashing out because they're hurt. Because they're in the King of Cups, so they're very emotional. They're overthinking. They want to speak some type. They're making a decision to speak some type of truth. They're going to make a decision. They feel rejected by you. Um, so you're kind of hermiting, like rejecting them, making the choice to reject them. This is pissing them off, okay? Because right now they're in the King of Cups. They're still got love. They're still emotional, but... When you make the choice to cut off communication with this person and they feel rejected, that's when they, they go into their ego. Okay, this person's going to go into their ego. Get your fucking attention at all costs. King of Swords. They don't give a shit who they hurt at that point because now they done turn cold on you. And planning on stealing something from you. You need to listen to your intuition because once they go, it's like a jackal and hide. You're dealing with an alcoholic who is a jackal and fucking hide. Um, so this ain't for everybody. So, okay, beware of that. Um, this person's not happy where they're at. They feel like it's unfair that you're ignoring them. Um, this person's heartbroken that you don't want to work with them. And they feel stuck. And they're jealous. They want to fight. They want to cause a tower. <laughs> um, they don't want you to move on. They're going to fight whoever they have to. Like this person's coming in to start a shit show. And it's all because you're not committing to them or showing them some type of love. So if you make the choice to retreat from this person and not talk to them because you know they are on some bullshit. This person's going to show their ass. Because at that point, they feel like they're, all hope is lost. Because they're like, well, if I don't have my Sagittarius, I have nothing. He may be this person's last resort. Um, 
I guess this is a warning for somebody. So who is the leg up? Who is coming uh, in October for a leg up? Like who's coming to help Sagittarius? Is there somebody else that Sagittarius can trust? That's coming to help. Who is the leg up? Is there somebody coming to help Sagittarius in October? Like, what's the good news for Sagittarius? I'm hearing that one song, Stay Woke. <laughs> Maybe Creepin'. Wands, Aries. There's somebody coming in here who could have been holding back some type of passion for you. They're not holding back anymore. Capricorn energy. Sun energy. Leo energy. Queen of Wands. Age of Pentacles. Is this somebody from your past here? You could have known them for quite some time. Coming in to make you an offer. You might have ended things with this person. Is this is somebody where things just didn't work out. Could be because they were selfish. Hmm. You got an Aries here who's broken hearted over an ending with you. There's some type of a trail coming towards you. I kid you not, I feel like this is that same energy. <laughs> like, is this the same like, spirit They're coming towards you really quickly? This is some crazy shit. With... There's somebody coming in here with new love, or you're about to get new love, but somebody's going to be in regret and in despair because of this. Somebody's starting to see something from a higher perspective. It's like they come in, they give you this message, but like after no communication. This is that down. It's a Scorpio, Leo, Virgo. It's like you end so you ended something with this emperor, and somebody's coming in here to get your attention. This is like somebody who could have rejected you in the past now wants to offer you love. This is weird. Like they want to move things forward with you. Just be careful. Like, there's this heavy energy of manipulation around you. Like, with the King of Swords reverse, that's a narcissistic energy. Yeah, somebody wants to come in and fight for you or start a fight. One of the two. Somebody is seeing you as very strong, getting wish fulfillment, holding back. Trying to balance yourself out. But you're not talking to them. So it's like some it's like you cut off communication with somebody or somebody cuts off communication with you. Somebody from the past. Mm. This is somebody. This is somebody who is jealous. They just ended something with somebody with the king, king and queen of swords reversed. And now they're coming your way, but they're crying. They're butt hurt. And they're jealous of this king of wands that you're around.
There could also be a King of Wands, an Aries Leo Sag that uh, has some type of um, tie to you too. Just be careful because I feel like there's one energy who wants to come in and cause a fucking tower between you and somebody else. Because they see that you're like moving on, you're happy. Getting equal give and take. Yeah, like there's an energy... Oh, Lord. There's also this energy of somebody who is making a decision to walk away. Or they feel like you made the decision to walk away and heal. Just be careful because I feel like there is a very dominant energy that wants to come in and cause you and somebody else a tower. You may have been looking for like, I'm also, there's also some instance of you may have been looking for help from like a mother figure or somebody who is like a mother and they don't help you. They leave you out in the cold. I don't know why I'm getting that. That's, it's. But there's something, there's somebody that wants to come in and cause this, sh this uproar. Because they want to be the one. Like, they want to be the one that you're in love with and that you're giving to. It's really weird. You need to listen to your intuition in the month of October. Because there's something weird. And I'm asking, like, who's coming to help Sagittarius? And I don't, <laughs> didn't look like I seen much help there. It looked like... You may, it may just be you, um, you and these spirit guides that are around you that we've seen in the Oracle card. Like, what kind of fuck shit is this? Like, I don't know. I'm feeling like that. Who can they trust? Like, who can Sagittarius trust right now? Because there's something weird. Like, I feel an energy of somebody feeling like they're trying to figure out who they can trust. It's really weird what I'm picking up on here. Like, who can Sagittarius truly trust right now? jokes today you can only trust yourself right now Sagittarius you're all you got you and your little spirit guides because I'm telling you um, you guys are needing to stay in this magician queen of swords will of fortune energy it's like you're you guys are gonna make magic happen regardless of what these people are on Things are going to go in your favor. There's somebody from your past here too. See, people from your past have already betrayed you. And so now you're very guarded towards these energies. You're seeing things from a higher perspective. There is somebody from the past that's going to try to come back. They're going to try to offer you romance. But you cannot trust it. So don't trust any love offers from the past. Yeah. 
yeah have the strength to not not give in to any of that you know there's somebody coming back here who wants a new start with you from the ten of wands to the ace of wands they want a new beginning with you they could have lied to you in the past it's king of wands so this person could have been lying to you in the past or they want to reconcile Yeah. They want to reconcile. Is this somebody you've known for quite some time? They want to do right by you. Okay. So this is a fire energy who in the past has lied to you. They deceived you. They did something to you they shouldn't have done in the past. Now you're very guarded against them. But now they want to come back and make things right with you and build with you they're hiding something what are they hiding well, they're hiding that they want a family with you or that they view you as family they do do a lot of overthinking though about your work okay so something about your work they could overthink about this a lot yeah they have a fear that because of your work you can move on or you could go do something else uh, go find new love they don't want you to find new love yeah they don't want you to move on and go give new love to somebody else so, yeah, they know it's very easy for you to move on, find new love, find a new commitment. They know you're very guarded. Yeah, they feel like you could end things with them to go off to the new, and they have a fear of that. Um, so it's like they want to do right by you this time around. Yeah, they also feel like there's a king of pentacles that's trying to, um, that's around that is jealous. So this king of wands might not have been the most honest in the past, or they were sneaky, or maybe they just snuck off and I don't know what, but they want to come back and then treat you, be fair to you, because they don't want you to move on. But they know there's this, they're waiting for this king of pentacles who they know is like jealous, wants to cause havoc, and this worries this person. Or maybe it's worrying you. Yeah, because you're over here getting wish fulfillment and love. And the king of pentacles feels like you're not matching them anymore. You're not, yeah. They're holding on to you. They're jealous. There they go, the King of Cups. So, moral of this story, pretty much trust yourself. You could possibly trust this fire sign that's coming in, who you may think they're sneaky or they were on some bullshit in the past, but they actually want to um, do right by you. But they are aware of some type of king of pentacles a taurus forever capricorn or maybe a water sign that's on some fuck shit that has not let go of you that's very emotional at this time yeah be careful of this earth water energy coming because they are very emotional and they see you as hope but Again, there's something about wanting to use you for your finances. They go, be careful because if they realize you're not going to give to them or that if something, like I said, it's a jackal and hide energy with this earth. It's an earth water energy, but they come in and they turn into this king of swords very cold really quickly. Yeah, like I said, they flip a switch and then they're the king of swords. Like they could love you one day and the next day they, you know. So, 
Yeah, and this person goes in and out of your life a lot. This person, whoever they are. Like, they're not stable. Yeah. They want to choose you. This person's got their eyes set on you. You're, you're the one that they're wanting because they view you as the empress. Nope. They do not want you to move on and leave them in the cold. They feel rejected by you. They feel like you're in the Ten of Pentacles and they're in the Five of Pentacles and they are in depression, drinking. I know this is a repeated story, but I'm trying I was trying to do a lot of clarifying. You need to listen to your intuition. Because there's somebody coming in who's going to act like they have God, but they're really the damn devil. And if you are cutting off communication and not making any movement, you need to listen to your intuition. Because this person wants to come in and start a fight. <sighs> okay. Well, I guess that's for somebody. Let's see. One, three, three, angel number. Because there's no 10 or 12 in numerology. So that's a one, a three, and a three. So one, three, three, seven, seven, one, angel number. And then here's some signs you could be dealing with. Libra, Sag, Capricorn, Scorpio, Taurus, Aries, Gemini, Cancer, Leo, Taurus, Aries, Gemini, Cancer, Virgo. So those are some signs that could be coming towards you. There's something else they're wanting me to pull on. I just try to figure out what the hell it is. I guess it's the what's the tea. So what is the tea, spirit? What is this? Because there's something else that's Someone's stealing your ideas, copying you. Rejected. This is somebody you rejected is coming towards you, feeling rejected. They could feed off you. It could have nothing to do with creativity. And it they're they're wanting to steal. <laughs> yeah. This is somebody this is why they didn't want me to end it. You have a very dominant ind individual coming. They're going to try to force their way onto you. If you reject them in any kind of way, they're going to go to this jackal and hide energy. So be prepared for this. Same shit, different day. Girl fight, arguments, physical fight, at war, competing. Yeah. Somebody wants to come in and start a fight, I'm telling you. Love on the brain. So this person's got love on the brain. Fantasizing. Cyber bully. I don't feel like this is online. This is in person. Somebody is a bully. They're a forcer. They like to force people into things. Clout hungry. Says anything. Makes shit up. They're very dramatic. This is you guys. You're this queen rising and this person knows it. And you're moving on. You want away from this bullshit. You know, that Oracle card is one of the main messages where it said, um, stay away from low vibrational energies at this time. Marrying for money. There could have been somebody, um, you know, this could be somebody who's like, they don't care what they have to do to get to for money. Like, they literally will marry somebody for money. Yeah, they're a wolf. Oh, these cards are trying to fall. They're a wolf in sheep's clothing and boss daddy, but it was in the reverse. So this is somebody who pretends to be a boss in control of things, stable, but they are not fucking stable at all. And they're telling you that you are dodging a bullet by avoiding this individual. This is a flat out thief. This person wants to be like you. I feel like it's more because of your material things or something. 
they are a thief okay um and they they travel while they're thieving so like i said there was an energy of somebody driving by your house stalking your home they're in a vehicle when they plan to do this yeah what did i tell you so before i show you these cards remember the song i was singing stay woke they be creeping look they are watching you stalking you and they're fake as hell this person's been creeping on you and then when you see them they they have a fake smile but there's they're they're hiding who they really are they're mad they're not this person could even try to like get you to open the door and be very fake like oh hey i love you da 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 da, da. this and this and this but it's they're planning on threatening you so carlos is in reverse so they do have a car <laughs> this person has a car be careful okay see you guys later love y'all